Dijabon. The DRC has stepped up measures to control the spread of COVID-19. The country's COVID-19 National Task Force has announced the compulsory wearing of masks, hand washing and limited public gatherings to 50 people. The announcement comes barely two weeks after scientists detected the Omicron variant in South Africa. The DRC Health Ministry has not detected the variant in the country. But some people are happy that the government plans to protect them. I think the government's health measures are a good idea because they're intended to protect us from the disease. If we follow them, we will be preventing deaths in our country. Those regulations are not bad because they will help protect us from COVID-19. The president must have good reasons for introducing them at this moment. We just have to respect them. Some health workers say the government's reinforcement of health regulations should be accompanied by payment of wages for those in the sector. It's a good move, but the government should also pay health workers their allowances to motivate them to work. Congolese authorities have recorded more than 1,100 COVID-19 deaths since March 2020. They've also recorded a slight increase in case numbers in the capital city. The health guidelines aimed at preventing the spread of COVID-19 in the DRC have proved difficult to enforce, especially in the capital Kinshasa, because many people have long neglected mask wearing and hand washing in public places. Vaccine hesitancy and misinformation is still widespread, despite efforts by the government and international organizations to counter it and that has ranked the DRC among the least vaccinated countries in the world. According to the World Health Organization, only 56,000 people have been fully vaccinated out of its population of 90 million. The government plans to deploy the police to enforce the latest health measures in a bid to curb the spread of the disease and stop the importation of the Omicron variant.